story your friends left you, but you know your situation kind of reminds me of our story today. Today, we're going to be talking about Noah. I know. That's why I'm building a boat. I thought it would be a fun way to tell Jasmine and Carson the story about Noah, but then they just walked away laughing at me, saying I would never finish. Well, don't worry, Jasper. We'll help you finish. I heard what you were doing, and I just finished gathering a bunch of supplies to help you finish. Why don't we let the kids practice their Bible book song while Miss Maddie and I help you work on your boat? And then I think we'd better read you some of our Noah story. I think you will be encouraged because Noah faced some big challenges too, just like you. Thanks, Miss Maddie and Miss Sharon. I could really use the help. Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second, Samuel, Kings, and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon. And this made God very sad. He made up his mind to send a terrible flood to destroy everything that he created. But on earth there was one good man who loved and obeyed God. His name was Noah, and he had three sons. God told Noah to build an enormous boat, an ark, so that he and his family might be saved along with two of every living creature. People laughed at Noah for building a boat in the middle of the land, but he ignored them, for he trusted God. Wow, I had 
forgot about that part of the story. But Noah didn't pay attention, didn't pay any attention to them. I'm sure the things they said still hurt him, but Noah trusted God. He knew that if God said it would rain and he needed to build a boat, then that is exactly what would happen. Noah sure had a lot of faith in God. I guess if Noah could trust God that it would rain and that he needed a boat, I can trust that God will help me to finish my boat and give me a chance to tell Jasmine and Carson this important story from the Bible. That's right, Jasper. Now let's sing a song about putting our hope in God, and while we do that, I will go see if I can find Jasmine and Carson. Jesus. Really? How? Well, the type of boat that Noah was building is called an ark. Yeah, and God told Noah to build this great big boat to save his family and two of every living creature because people were becoming so wicked that God wanted to destroy everything with a flood and start over. 
Oh, wow. I see what Miss Jill meant last week when she said that things were going to get worse before Jesus came to save us. That's right. Things continued to get worse. Sin was making a big mess in our world. And Noah and his family were the only ones who listened to God anymore. Everyone else laughed at Noah for building a great big boat in the middle of dry land. Oh, you mean kind of like how Jasmine and I laughed at you, Jasper? I'm really sorry. That's okay, Carson. I already forgave you. But you still haven't told me how the big boat reminds us of Jesus. I was just about to get to that. You see, God saved everyone who entered the ark. In Noah's day, the ark was the only way to be saved from the flood waters. The flood waters were God's judgment or punishment on the wicked people who lived on the earth at that time. Today, Jesus is our ark. The Bible tells us that only those who are safe in Christ will be saved from God's judgment. So, when we think of Noah's ark that saved him from the flood, we can remember Jesus who saves us from our sin. Oh, that's so cool. I wish Jasmine could hear this. I wonder where she is. Hmm. I don't know. I thought Miss Maddie would have found her by now. Carson, why don't we go see if we can find them while the kids sing our memory verse song for this week? Like this, and uh, 
And then when you're when you're ready, you got your hook on and things, and you're gonna cast. You know, oh, not with your mouth, no. <laughs> just with your yeah, using your hands. That's right. And then you pull it back, and you cast it just like that. Awesome. Yeah. Well done, by the way. Thanks. Hey, Pastor Dave, a bunch of Jesus' disciples were fishermen, right? Yeah, that's that's right, Jasper. Um, but you know what? Jesus actually asked them to put all their fishing tackle down and come and follow him so that he could teach them to fish for, well, for people. That's so cool. That's what I want to do, Pastor Dave. I want to fish for people, but it's not easy. My cousins, Jasmine and Carson, I, I've invited them and they've been coming to kids' church with me sometimes, and I've been trying to teach them about the Bible. Cool, oh, that's, that's great, Jasper. Yeah, but sometimes it's hard, like today. I knew we were going to be learning about Noah, so I thought it would be cool if I built this boat with my cousins, and then we could use it to tell the story of Noah. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I thought so too. And Jasmine and Carson, they were excited about it at first, but then they got bored and quit and laughed at me, saying I would never finish, and that hurt. Then they left before Kids Church had even started, and before I got a chance to share the story of Noah with them. Pastor Dave, how can I fish for people like Jesus' disciples? I mean, I'm just a kid. Well, Jasper, it sounds like you're, you're actually really off to a great start. You really care about your friends, and you care about the good news that, that you've experienced for yourself. You know, inviting your friends to Kids Church and uh, just wanting to teach them more about the Bible and the stories, that's really a great idea. You know, a couple other things you could do is, is to pray for your friends. And as you study and get to know the Bible better, get to know God better, then you'll be actually maybe better equipped to be able to answer some of their questions. But you know, the other thing too is that just growing closer to Jesus, uh, that's a huge part of it as well, because you'll experience his love and that joy that comes from it will just flow out from you and you'll be um, just really excited to keep sharing the good news of Jesus with your friends. Thanks, Pastor Dave. I think I'm going to pray for Jasmine and Carson right now. That's a great idea. You know, I have to go, but maybe sometime we can, like, go to the lake and fish on a real lake together. That will be awesome. Thanks, Pastor Dave. For sure. Take care. Bye. Bye. I'm back. I finally found Jasmine. She was playing outside. Hi, Jasmine. I'm really sorry I left you like that. Miss Maddie says I shouldn't have laughed at you and I shouldn't have abandoned my friend when I had agreed to help you with your boat. Thanks, Jasmine. I'm glad you came back. Look, Miss Maddie and Miss Sharon helped me finish the boat. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome! Hey, speaking of Miss Sharon, where is she? And Carson, I thought he would be here too. He told me he was going to come apologize. Oh, he did come, and we talked about the ark Noah built, and how the ark reminds us of Jesus. But then Miss Sharon and Carson left to go find you. We were starting to wonder what happened to you. Oh, I see. I'm sorry I took so long. I'm sorry I missed the story about Noah. It sounds interesting. Oh, don't worry, Jasmine. You only missed the beginning of the story. I can fill you in on what you missed later, but we will hear the rest of the story at Kids Church next week. Oh, awesome! I can't wait! I'm glad I didn't miss all of it! If you want to hear the whole story, Jasmine, you can also read it in your Bible this week. It's in Genesis chapter 6 to 9. That's great! I will read it this week! Then I'll be ready for Kids Church next week! It's time to go for today. Jasmine, did you have a joke for us, though, before we go? Of course I do! What did the ocean say to the sailboat? I don't know. Nothing! It waves! <laughs> 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 nice one, Jasmine. Miss Jill's going to come out and help us with our craft for this week. Hello, boys and girls. So we're into October today, so you can get your October bag out of your package. And today, you are going to build a boat. So you have a boat, an ark template that looks like this. You can get that out. And you have a bag of popsicle sticks, and you can glue them on to make your boat. So here's a finished one that looks like this. 
And then you can also decorate it after if you want. You could color or paint the popsicle sticks. You could add some animals, do whatever you want with it, and have fun. That looks fun, Miss Kim. Yeah, it does. Hey, what are you doing? Is Kiss Church over? I think Miss Jill was about to pray. And then do you want to play Pirates with Jasper? Arr, sounds fun, matey. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to pray, and then you can have fun playing Pirates. Three, two, one, pray. Dear God, we just thank you for today. We thank you um, for our imaginations and that we can have fun and that we can play um, with things like boats. And we thank you for Noah. We thank you um, for creating him. We thank you, God, that he was faithful to you and that he listened to you and that you uh, kept your promises to him. And we thank you that you keep your promises to us. We ask that you would be with each one of these boys and girls this week. Amen. Bye. Bye.